Before we go on, I want to talk about a central concept of Customize Your Web, and that is the definition of a target for an action. Almost every action refers to a specific element on a page, and you must tell Customize Your Web for which, for which element an action should apply. So let's have a look. We define a shortcut for this button. For every action which refers to a target, element, there will be a group box within its uh, edit dialog. And within this group box you define the, the target element. And there are two ways to define a target element, two styles. There's a simple style. The simple style uh, simply consists of a list of name-value pairs, where the first name-value pair is the tag and uh, the tag. In this case it's an input it will be automatically proposed, so you don't have to worry about that. And the rest of it is the list of attributes and its values. If you change anything, you will get an instant feedback <coughs> of, uh, of the result to which elements the current expression matches. And you see now it's not valid, because the expression has a non-unique result. You have also an uh, autocomplete feature. If you press Control Space, you get a uh, selection of all attribute value pairs which are available for that element, for the selected element. So let's say we take uh, we take this one, search. We still have a non-unique result. So now we have to narrow this by saying position one. And now we have an uh, uh, everything is all right. We have to define a short string here to get all uh, necessary uh, form elements filled, and we can confirm that. Let's reopen it. The second way to define a target element is you can enter a valid uh, XPath expression, and in this case, also Customize Your Web offers you a variety of choices you can take one from. Uh, let's take. Let's say we take this one. And also you get an instant feedback if you uh, navigate here within this uh, this list. You should get an instant feedback. Okay, if I remove that, it should be, say, also it has a non-unique result. There are two uh, form elements left for the target definition. One is the target name. This is just an input field for informational purposes. Uh, if I press your search button, this text will be displayed in the actions tree. The last one is the checkbox target is optional in page. This tells Customize Your Web that the target could be missing in a page, and Customize Your Web will not report an error if this, if this uh, checkbox is ticked on. Otherwise, if it's ticked off, it will report an error, and you will see an exclamation mark if the target is missing on the page. So that's it regarding the definition of targets in Customize Your Web.